Welcome back to World of X Games Real Moto presented by Next Care Bandages. And I can't believe I'm saying this. This next rider, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. There's not enough good things you can say about this man. Ricky Carmichael stepping out of retirement for this one. And of course, his filmer Jack Berg trying to make a name for himself out here in Real Moto. Before we check out his part, judges, what can you say about Ricky? To get Ricky into Real Moto, I think it is huge for our sport. Just to see what kind of skill this dude has and to see him come to a Real Moto and do something different and totally out of his normal habitat, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this video out. Ricky usually doesn't free ride, so we're gonna see what he's got up against some of the world's best free riders, okay? It's, uh, it's a fair fight, I'd like to say. So let's check it out. What do you got, Goat? Some things you can't really explain, they're just meant to be. Here's no explanation. I guess like a singer can sing. Just one of them deals. Ricky Carmichael does not need to do real moto at his age. But at the same time, he's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. I mean, having undefeated seasons and winning 15 titles throughout your career, it's unmatchable. I don't know that you could call me the greatest of all time. Now, winningest of all time, when you combine motocross and supercross, I do have that record of 150 wins combined, so I will claim that one. But there's so many great riders. He had a competitive thing going when he's about two days old, I think I noticed it. My parents had no clue about dirt bike racing or anything like that. We were self-taught. We knew nothing about dirt bikes. Nothing, and I mean nothing. We were students of the sport, you know, it was a long, tough road. My parents sacrificed everything. We lived in a motor home for a year and a half. My work ethic I really got from my mom. She really held me accountable. And she was the one that took him practicing every day and, you know, made the deals with him. If he does good, and stop by and get an orange drink and a hamburger on the way home. I met Jack a long time ago. He was just a, a little young guy, big old hairdo, bowl cut. My hair's changed a lot since then. Both my parents are doctors and dirt bike riders get hurt a lot, including RC. He's performed a couple surgeries on me, luckily not too many. Whether we win or lose, it's not gonna break my heart or change my life, but I would get a lot of gratification out of watching us do well just for Jack's standpoint. It would really open the door for him. Honestly, that's why I hope we do well. Jack's built everything. I haven't lifted a hand on this. I like creating things from film to, to making dirt piles. I wanted to make something that only one rider in the world could ride, and that's RC. The technicality of this track is just, I think it's unmatched. The tight corners, the fast corners, sandy situations, ruddy situations. You know, the bike has way more resistance in the sand, so you have to keep the gas on, and it puts you in uncomfortable situations. Anything less than ideal circumstances is really what uh, we hope people will uh, take into account. You gotta be strong to hang out with us, because. We tear each other down all day. It's just constant heckling. We're at Jack's family's property, and it's all like in pine trees. Super narrow, stakes are high. You don't want to come up short, land in a tree, that's for sure. Would you do this double? No. This might not have been a good idea. I think Jack forgot that I'm pushing 40 years old. Haven't competed professional in like uh, 12 years. Hey, the greatest of all time never ages. Yeah, well, that's what you think. I kind of feel like I want to be the videographer right now. You could be the stunt guy. Yeah, and I'll just break my legs. <laughs> and then you just film it on your phone. Look at the takeoff. How's the landing treating you, too? He's, I mean, you don't you have zero view of the landing. <laughs> you could have built the landing up a little bit higher. That would have that been nice. If you want the easy job, you just go to California and you got a hill to land on. As a filmmaker, I'm trying to complement Ricky's riding very closely, I'm trying to have an aggressive style following him. I'm trying to make every shot look great from a light perspective, from angle perspective, from making sure Ricky's happy with how he looks. We built the track purpose built for running cables along it. When you have to set up and run a cable cam and you only got about an hour and a half of good light, it gets pretty stressful. This contest is most of the time in the past more freestyle based. When I think of what real moto is, it's basically all racing. My mom and dad had one of these trucks and that's what I went to school in every day. That's what I got picked up in every day. And it's funny now because if I go to pick my kids up or drop them off from school, they beg me, let's not take your truck, Dad, please, no. I'm like, what's up, dude? You don't like my truck? 
it's embarrassing to them. So when I pick them up, I had the windows down and the radio on, that really gets them. It makes me never forget where I came from and makes me thankful for what I have. He's doing this whole thing to help me out. I'm just so glad that we could work on this together. It's been an opportunity of a lifetime and I could not think of enough. I can't believe I'm still doing this at the age that I am. It's really, truly an honor and I hope that everyone enjoys it and I'm truly grateful for this opportunity. Hey, I'm Ricky Carmichael and this is my real moto. And that right there, folks, is why Ricky Carmichael is the GOAT. Just flying through the trees, so much consequence, yet making it look so fluid and so easy. Mike Mason, what'd you think? I thought they put together an amazing piece. It was, you know, him ripping around a track, which we've all known Ricky to do. And there were some big jumps. He got, got down with some old school freestyle stuff, which was pretty cool. And the filming, everything just through the trees and, you know, the floor to sand, everything, it, it was an awesome piece. Anytime you watch Carmichael ride a bike, you get a smile on your face. And for me, it's cool to see him come over to like my world, you know what I mean? And to see him put together a video part this good was pretty stoked. Like it made me want to go ride my bike. Alrighty, the time has come. It's time to vote. You guys ready? I've watched all the parts. I've studied them, I've done all my research, I've broke down these five categories as the best I can, and it's time to put my scores in and see what happens. Votes are in. It's time. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. The results are in for Real Moto 2019, starting with the bronze medal. The GOAT himself steps out of retirement in a selfless act to help his filmer, Jack Berg, make a name for himself in his film career and successfully achieves it. Congratulations, Ricky Carmichael, adding a fourth medal to your collection. So much respect. <laughs>